Hello and welcome back to day 5 of GeoGuessr now. Um, today's going to be a pretty short video because I've already played a lot today and I'm a bit tired, but I'm just going to speed run the daily challenge and we'll see what I can get. Okay, so there were a bit of technical difficulties with the recording, but basically I've loaded in and it is the US, um, but I don't know more than that. And just in the meantime, I found an awesome resource today and I don't know if uh, many people are watching this and if anyone actually plays GeoGuessr, but this resource called Learnable Meta is incredible. It's basically an extension for your browser where you can play maps and it'll tell you the meta in the round you just played that you missed. So say there's a bollard like what I was doing yesterday, it'll just show up after the round exactly what that bollard is and where it's found. So I'll link that in the description because it's so good. <laughs> I have no clue here. <laughs> this is kind of a, um, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking like, like here maybe. Let's see. Oh, actually here in Montana. Let's see. Okay. Down in Missouri there. So not a good start. Um, hopefully some smaller countries because I just want to get through this pretty quickly today. Um, I'm not sure off the bat here. Thinking South America, Saturn. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe not. Um, yeah, maybe this looks more like uh, Asia here, actually. So it looks like it's driving right, so I'm going to say this is the Philippines. Yeah, with, um, with no clue here, I'll just go a bit south, I think. I'll go down here, let's see. Oh, pretty close actually. That's really good. 4.5k. Um, yeah, that's all I need to keep 20k chances alive. Looks like we got signs here that will do us good. Um, not like that though. Okay. Um, that little diacritic on the A is Swedish, I think. I haven't seen this bollard before, even though I've been practicing the methods. Or have I actually? I don't know. Mmm, <laughs> can't recall. Um, oh, but this, um, the yellow filled in with the red, is that Swedish or Finnish or both? So 158. Yeah, there are roads, uh, road numbers that look like that in Sweden, so I do think it's going to be Sweden. And the 158, let's see if we can find that. Okay, actually, um, no, we've got a .se here, which is Estonia, I think, is it Estonia? No, not with these word numbers, oh no, this is from those domains where I'm, <laughs> I actually have forgot, although the bollard um, looks like it would be Estonia, I think that fits. Maybe the uh, colors are just different on the signs. Um, 158, in that case, let's just assume it is. Oh, 158. Surely not. Uh, Kulovic. Um, yeah, it does travel on a little further. I mean, yeah, the names match up here, so I'm thinking it's gonna be around here for sure. How far down does the 158 go? <laughs> Did I lose it? <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be around here, hopefully. Let's see. 
<laughs> no, it is sweet. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, got thrown off there. Um, it thought... Oh my goodness. Dot SE is Sweden, of course it is. <laughs> um, yeah, that might be my worst round um, compared to like the amount of information I had versus my guess uh, I've had so far on this uh, channel. But I guess that's what being tired does to you. I won't blame it all on that, of course. Um, but next round. Okay, we are okay, let's see. Thinking thinking uh Cambodia here maybe. Is that what this bollock is? Oh yes, Cambodian people spot yeah, it will be Cambodia. So this bollard is um I did recognize it, but I wasn't certain. It's not one I'm confident about. Um at this point, yeah, I'm just gonna send it. Send it north of Phnom Penh. Yep, really good guess. And to wrap up, let's see. This is gonna be okay. Mall of Kato. So, I mean, it's gonna be pretty close to Doha, right? Uh, on 18A. Ah, uh, do I really want to line this up? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna guess. And yeah, really close. And the Sweden guess really let me down. And I do think I have to do at least one ranked game, but you're gonna notice immediately that my rating is pretty low. I have just been versing so many people who are ranked a lot lower than me. So many rank uh, 400 to 600s. And that might sound good. Um, and it's good for getting wins, but. The problem is when you slip up on one of those games, I've been losing like 25 points per game and then I gain like four for a win. So it's just been a downward slide uh, today. And hopefully in this game, I get someone who is a bit evenly matched. Okay, so here we've got a really good match here with Latvian Jedi. We're about the same. And we will first up be somewhere in Europe, I think. No bollards for me to take advantage of. This is just standard Europe looking field to me. I might lean like, hmm, maybe, maybe like Hungary. Might just go quickly up, they guess anyway. Okay, Germany up there. Not too bad where both pretty equidistant. Okay, this time with the yellow line, that would suggest the Americas. Is that a flag? <laughs> Maybe, but I can't see it. Um, I was gonna say Spain before I saw the yellow line, but I guess um, it's on south, so this could be Mexico. Uh, that sounds reasonable to me, so I'll just go CDMX and see. Yep, not a bad guess. Again, we're pretty spot on with our, our distances. And hopefully a bollard to guess. Or to know, rather. Okay, residence parking. Here we should be... This is uh, again, looks a bit like Australia, but off. So I'm thinking New Zealand. Mm. Yeah, it just looks a bit off for Australia. This is an Australian uh, business, or at least it exists in Australia. It looks all Australian, except <laughs> I can't place it. So that means I'm gonna go like near Auckland and see. Yep. It was just down in Wellington, but opponent going in America up there, so that's really good for us. Hopefully this can be a quick game to just get a bit of score back. Okay, that's like a waystone, not familiar with that. Uh, other than that, yeah, not much to go off here. Does look like Europe, I think, 
yeah. Where's the sun? Yeah, the sun's in the south. It should be Europe. Um, I'm gonna lean like Czechia again. Like no, no uh, clues except the vibe here. Oh, okay, down in France, really good guess from them in the perfect region here, and that will do some damage, but luckily one round before multis, and now hopefully we can seal it in, in, is it France again? Uh, I, I think so, um, yeah, this definitely looks like French language, and it looks kind of coastal. Is that a lighthouse even? That must be a lighthouse, yeah. Okay. So it's got to be southern. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it feels a bit southern. I'm going to go down in Marseille, and we'll see. They... Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Complete opposite side of the country. Um, that's no good, but at least we get the country right and they aren't spot on, so I will survive. And bringing us to, should be Norway. That flag. Okay, Norway, uh, like a, like a bay of some sort, maybe? Water to the east and then land again. This doesn't look too north, but yeah, maybe maybe like here is a fine guess. We have water east. I mean, there's water east all through here. Just because of the crannies, you can get water east. But like, what would make sense? Like maybe like an one of these kind of like outer islands, or it could just be right near Oslo. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense too. Um, we are closer, and it's really close now, so, let's see. Hmm, okay, this is a tough one. Uh, yeah, not immediately obvious to me, it could be South America, could be Russia, I don't know. Um, and the clouds aren't going to help me with the sun position. Hmm. Okay, the poles don't look South American to me, I don't think. But I've only learned Brazil and Chile pole um, designs so far. I could say that they're not it. I can't say if black car means anything, but like, is this Russia or is this a throw going Russia here? It kind of just. It, it kind of looks like Russia, but actually, like that is that like a palm or something? Like the vegetation can't be Russia, can it? Which means could this be Argentina? Maybe, and I think that's a better guess. So I'm gonna go like here. Okay, it's Argentina. So I saved myself there by not going Russia. Um, yep, we're like equally distant, but they're in Brazil. And, okay, this time, oh, okay, um, this is great, so this is, um, this is the Kyrgyzstan car, right, yeah, this is going to be Kyrgyzstan, and I'll just go here, I'm sure they'll know that too, but, or well, maybe they won't, um, yeah, they don't, okay, that is unfortunate, because, like, obviously that is what I, that just won me the game, just knowing that quick tip. I'm at an interesting stage here in like this kind of rank where like some of the metas, like like the amount of metas known is like really varying. Like some people know all their bollards but don't know Ghana tape, or like some people know like Ghana tape and the riffs but no bollards. And I guess that uh, person just didn't know that car tip, which is unfortunate because I, it's not really a good guess by me more than it is someone told me that once and I remember. So it shows why the metas are so important, even though I'd love for it to just be based on the landscape. 
anyway, after that, we are back up a little bit, still below 800 in rating, um, much below our all-time high from a couple days ago, and our jewels win ratio is below 61 now, so yeah, you can tell I lost a few games, um, but still overall decent, and I've got my classic games up, played some single player maps, so this was a big day, even though my stats went down, I think my knowledge has gone up a lot, and we'll see where that brings us tomorrow. Thanks for watching.